Hey everyone, I'm Mary Fielder. I'm a classically trained homeopath and a Reiki master teacher. And today I want to talk to you about one of homeopathy's most famous little remedies, and that's Arnica. Now, Arnica is a little plant that grows on the mountain slopes in European mountainsides. And um, it's quite famous and is used quite often for pains, especially pains associated with bruises and injuries. But Arnica doesn't work for everyone. And sometimes when people decide they want to try a homeopathic remedy, but then they try it and the remedy doesn't work, they say homeopathy doesn't work. So I want to explain today a little bit about Arnica and what kind of pain it works for and what kind of pain it doesn't work for so that you can choose and when you make a better choice you will get a better result from this wonderful little remedy so homeopathy is not like traditional medicine if you take if you have a headache or you have some other kind of pain you'll go to the store and you'll buy some aspirin or some ibuprofen or whatever it is that you prefer to take and that's going to work on any kind of pain so that's not so with homeopathy. When you take homeopathy, the remedy has to be matched to the energy of your pain. And this is the art and the science of homeopathy and why it works so well when it's well chosen and why many people think it doesn't work at all when it's poorly chosen. Let's think then about this little plant, Arnica. Arnica is a member of the daisy family. It's a yellow flower with yellow petals and it grows on the mountain slopes, um, mostly in Europe, but also in some other parts of the world. It grows to be somewhere between seven inches and 23 inches tall. So it can be quite a tall and hardy plant. And the interesting thing about where Arnica grows is that it grows in poor soil that lacks nutrition. And often that soil is kind of loose soil. You know how bad soil on the side of a mountain, like there can be scree and there can be loose boulders and stuff like that. So this is the kind of environment that Arnica grows in. Now, coincidentally, that's the kind of environment that hikers and there's sometimes even animals get injured because it's a sort of treacherous, slippery slope uh, at the side of the mountain and they can hurt their, twist their ankle, they can, you know, get bruised or sometimes in severe cases, they may even break a bone. So this little flower that lives on the side of mountains understands how to survive the slippery slope. It understands how not to get injured. It, it's learned as a little flower, it's learned how to, how to thrive in those kinds of conditions, in loose soil, in poor soil, and Annika also happens to love sunshine. It has these beautiful yellow petals, just like a yellow daisy. And so this, you see, is, is the essence of homeopathy. It's a finding a remedy that understands the energy of your injury. So if you take Arnica for the pain of arthritis or the pain of rheumatism or for a headache because you've been out in the sun too long, Arnica is not going to help with that. But if you take Arnica because you have been injured, uh, you ran into something and uh, stumped your toe, and now your toe is all black and bruised and swollen, Arnica is going to be very good for that because you see that that pain has the energy of injury. So Arnica is go going to help to reduce the swelling, to reduce the bruising, and also to reduce the pain. So let's say, you know, that you have a black eye or something like that, or you broke a bone and that, that pain of waiting to get that bone set, that pain is, is really severe. Arnica will help with that kind of pain because you see that's the pain that's the result of trauma and injury and that's what Arnica is really good for and so that's kind of the the essence of homeopathy is that you need to find a remedy that matches the energy of what you're going through and Arnica understands injury however that happened <laughs> It does. It works for that.
but it doesn't work for everything, as you will know if you've tried it for some other kind of pain. Now, I want to clarify that I'm talking about Arnica in homeopathic preparation. Preparing a substance homeopathically is a whole protocol that I'm not going to go into here. But Arnica, if you just pull it from the ground and use it as a plant, like a herb that you just pulled from the ground, Arnica is poisonous. But when we prepare things homeopathically, it eliminates the poisonous quality and it retains the other energy, the healing energy, the healing properties of the substance. And so that's why I'm talking about specifically homeopathic Arnica in homeopathic preparation. Now, you can get homeopathic Arnica in gels and creams, and it also comes in pellets, uh, little tiny pills, and um, in liquid form where you can take drops. So when you apply Arnica externally, it will help in the local site of the injury. But the best way to take it, and especially if you've had a severe injury, the best way to take it is internally. So taking the little pellets or the drops. I recommend the pellets because they store well and they're easy to carry around and they're easy to take. And let's think about that a little bit, taking a remedy that works from the inside out, even though the injury is on the outside. So we are used to, in our culture, applying bandages and tinctures and creams externally um, on the site of injury to help us heal. And you can still do that. But think about how the body heals itself. When you break a bone, that bone is healed from the inside out. When you have a bruise, which, you know, bruising is a, there's a lot of blood uh, welling up there at the site of the bruise. Um, that repair happens from the inside, from the inside of your body. And so this is why it makes sense. Like, you know, how can I take a medicine on the inside and it's going to help me with a bruise on the outside, but it will. Because your body works that way. Your body works from the inside out. That's how it heals itself. Now, Arnica is really good after surgery. It will help you to recover more easily and more quickly from surgery. So think about what surgery is. Surgery, your body sees surgery as an injury. It's injurious to the body. Now, obviously the goal of surgery is ultimately to help you, to heal you, to make you better and all of that, right? We know that, but in the moment, in the moment of receiving surgery, the surgeon cuts into you and may even cut into the bone, but definitely cuts through the nerves, through the skin, through the flesh, and does the repair that needs to happen. So your body sees this as an injury, and that's why Arnica is very good for the pain of surgery and not so good for the pain of arthritis, unless the arthritis is a direct result of an injury. Now that would be rare. So if you're having surgery or if somebody you know is having surgery and you want to try uh, an Arnica protocol, I do recommend getting with a classical homeopath. And that might be me or somebody else that you know, uh, because they will guide you and help you select the right potency and the right uh, frequency for taking that remedy. Um, pain meds post-surgery, they make you sleepy, they make you drowsy, they make you sluggish, and they kind of slow down the healing process. It's harder to recover from the anesthetic and so on because you're always in this mind-dulled state. So if you take Arnica instead, um, you won't get into that dull state. You'll be surprised how alert you will be and how your body is responding and repairing itself more quickly. The Arnica itself will help to repair your body more quickly after surgery, but also the fact that you are, your senses are not dulled, your body is not dulled. This will also help to repair your body more quickly. So if you do want to try that, I recommend getting with a homeopath because um, the homeopath can guide you in how much to take and how often to take it. And, you know, sometimes that can be tricky because you don't want to take it too often and you don't want to overdo it. So you want to take just the right amount. Um, but I've tried, I've, I've taken Arnica after my surgery, my last surgery. I took only Arnica um, and one other homeopathic remedy, which I won't get into 
uh, right here. But those that pairing combination uh, helped me avoid completely medical drugs. I, apart from the anesthetic, I took absolutely nothing else after my surgery and I felt fine. I felt alive. I recovered quickly and, I, and my body bounced back. So that's something you could try. In the meantime, if you're just dealing with like a stub toe or a black eye or a bruise or um, an injury of some kind that um, you could try like an Arnica 6C homeopathic pellets and you'll just take that you take it when you're experiencing pain so you'll just take that maybe two or three times a day for a couple of days don't overdo it and let me know did it work for you let me know in the comments if you tried Arnica and it helped you with your pain it truly is a wonderful a little remedy it's very very useful but as i've said to recap it's just got to be used in the right way so it's good for injuries bruises broken bones uh, post-surgical recovery it's not good for other types of pain so general headache related to stress lower back pain related to stress pain of arthritis or pain of rheumatism probably not going to help you very much with those kinds of pains all right, so it was just a short one today. Just wanted to share that with you. Please give me a like, share, and subscribe if you got something out of this video. And I'll talk to you again in the next one.